Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined by Teddy Abrams, conductor and music director of the Brit Festival Orchestra. Good to see you, man. How great are you? Great to be here. Great yeah. to be here. Doing Welcome great. Welcome back. So, new name. New name. BFO, Brit Festival Orchestra. Mm -hmm. What other changes are in the works as we approach 2019? Well, we're just kind of updating our look to really match the energy and the enthusiasm, the, the excitement that we believe the orchestra is all about here. And, uh, you know, when people think of orchestras, we don't want them to think of something that's just for a small number of people or for people that already like that music. An orchestra is for everyone. And mm -hmm. the way we've been uh, putting on concerts and dreaming up programs is all about being inclusive. It's about playing music from the past that's great, but it's also about commissions and projects and things that kind of blow your mind. Mm -hmm. So we want our look and feel to be uh, new and, and, and to, to showcase that kind of energy. So we've also been thinking about the format of, of the Brit Festival Orchestra's season and mm -hmm. uh, what do we do to walk the orchestra into the 21st century and beyond. And so we've been dreaming up new concert formats and all kinds of things that we think are going to be really exciting. We're going to roll out a whole new schedule uh, for our audiences, which I think are just going to take it to the next level. Is there anything in particular you can, you can speak to that on and give us a little taste of what that might look like? So what we're planning on doing is, uh, in addition to the six regular concerts that we do uh, each season, we're going to add in a, a series on Tuesdays where we're actually going to have new format concerts that could be anything from uh, a family concert with the full orchestra and narrator uh, to a dance night on the hill. It could be like a salsa dance night. It mm. could be uh, a Gershwin program. It could be something programmed by the musicians themselves. So we're talking about really innovative kind of next generation style concerts that are, that are much more about just come to experience the orchestra, especially if you never have before. Uh, very cheap uh, ticket prices and everything that, that, mm -hmm. that makes it completely accessible and available. Uh, and then, of course, our, our standard six uh, concerts that we do on top of that. So we're talking about really creating that festival atmosphere. Excellent. Okay. And, and as we all did, of course, this past summer, uh, we dealt with smoke and you, you guys had to make some changes, oh, yeah. you know, playing at North Medford, for example. Uh, how are you guys adjusting for 2019 for that possibility? Well, but right now, what we're really trying to do is focus as a community on how we address the smoke and the fires. And, and of course, we, we have to have contingencies. So sure. if we have to move uh, back to the high school, which we are so grateful to have access to that auditorium, uh, we will do that. But the plan is to be up on that hill. And the best way to be up on that hill is to, to really uh, bond together with everybody in the community, that's that's wineries, it's performance institutions, it's it's health officials, it's everybody to talk about what do we do to address fires? How do we make uh, our, our region safe and healthy? Mm. Uh, and that's that's the really the focus right now because an so, orchestra, it's about bringing folks together. And if you can't bring them together in a healthy way, uh, then we can't do our job, which is to strengthen community. All right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Yeah. Much more in just a moment, stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Teddy Abrams, conductor and music director of the Brit Festival Orchestra. So we talked before uh, we started the interview, talking about the new branding, about mm -hmm. the, the new name. Uh, you recently re-upped on, on your contract, correct? Five more years. Congratulations. Yep. Glad yep. to hear it. Thank you. So what, what does that commitment allow, allow the team, the organization, to do uh, moving forward? Well, it's, it's really just a commitment to building what we've been building, which is this idea that the orchestra can really become a flagship institution for Oregon, uh, for, for Southern Oregon in particular, but maybe even beyond uh, to become one of the, the really premier festival orchestras in the United States. Uh, and the quality is already that way. Uh, we know that the Brit Festival Orchestra is absolutely world-class quality. We have uh, musicians coming from some of the, the, the best, some of the, the most uh, uh, impressive orchestras from around the country, and they're coming here each summer. And my commitment is to take that quality, to take the talent, uh, and really put it on a national platform so that we can attract people, uh, not only who already live here and know what, what a great place this is, but people from around the country to come visit this place to hear the music that we have to offer. And so that's our plan for the next five years, to put this on that national and international map. Mm, excellent. Okay. And, and I know this week you're visiting some local schools uh, yes. doing some education. Tell, tell yes. us your plans. Uh, we're going to pretty much all the, the schools, Grants <laughs> yeah. Pass, Ashland High, uh, North and South Medford. I love visiting uh, the schools here because it's this is the opportunity to ensure that music has a healthy future. We should not just sit back and expect that just because the music industry is a big industry that people are always right. going to love music. We have to uh, be on the ground. It's, it's, it's really boots on the ground, making sure that we as professional musicians give back as much as we possibly can. Uh, and so if that means inspiring folk 
folks in schools or wherever you find them, then that's exactly what we have to do. And so I love connecting with not just our, our future audiences, but they're also our future orchestra members. Yeah, and I don't I don't normally tip stories, you know, when we're yeah. uh, when we're on TV, but yeah. we're definitely going to be there with you oh, great. the next couple of days. I look it's forward to it. Fun. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.